If you thought I was gonna let Halloween pass by without releasing a special mini-sode, you were wrong. There's no way I could let my favorite holiday go by without doing something specifically Halloween-y. Of course, we've had the ghost stories and the ghost towns and lots of cool history stories this month that feel a little spooky, especially our recent trip to a quote, air quote here, haunted house on Cascade Beach Road but nothing that is specifically set up for Halloween. Now in Duluth, there are usually quite a few things that you can do around Halloween time that are specifically Halloween-y, such as the haunted William A. Irvin ship, the haunted Nopaming Sanatorium, or the dark Duluth bus tours. Unfortunately, this year, the William A. Irvin was in dry dock and not open for the haunted tours. It returned just a couple weeks ago. The Nopaming Sanatorium is also not open this year, and so they didn't have any tours going on. And while the Dark Duluth bus tours were going on, we unfortunately couldn't fit it into our recording schedule. So that left us with not doing anything Halloween-y. Luckily for us, a family here in Grand Marais purchased the old funeral home and decided to turn it into a three-day haunted house event. So tonight, I was able to go to the haunted house with a guest host, and we were actually joined by someone who ended up being another guest host. And we got to go through the haunted house. And I just have to say, it was incredibly, incredibly well done. So to the rentals, good job. You turned that funeral home into a very, very, very cool thing for this town to experience. So if you happen to be in Grand Marais on Halloween day today, you still have a chance to go to it. On today's tour, it is a family-friendly tour, so it's a little less scary than what you're about to hear that we experienced. Um, the night before Halloween, which is right now and as I'm recording this, is the 18 plus adult tour. So it was meant to be a little scarier than I think tomorrow's is gonna be. Anyway, just one more quick thank you to the Riddles for doing this. You guys are awesome, and we had a lot of fun going through it. So now I'm going to cut to the recording of Matthew Baxley, Sarah Stover, and myself going through the old funeral home haunted house. I think, I don't know if it has an official name, but that's what I'm going to call it. A quick note, this recording cuts in in the middle of a conversation I'm having with Matthew Baxley because he just so happens to be a former resident of Rex's Retreat, which you heard about in the last episode, Haunted North Shore, when we did the ghost hunting tour. So Rex's Retreat is the little cabin next door to the larger cabin we were recording in. So when we cut in, you're going to hear a conversation I'm having with Matthew regarding his haunting experiences while living at Rex's Retreat. Uh, quick warning, there is a little bit of foul language in the beginning, so just a warning. If that offends you, you might want to skip over the next 20, 30 seconds. Anyway, enjoy, and um, I hope you appreciate Matthew squealing as much as I do. Um, oh, that's my shit, though. Like a 200-year-old house on Cascade Beach Road. What? Right? Which house? Um, Deer Creek. I used to oh, live... Oh, yeah, duh. No shit. I used You're to the live neighbor. in the little one. Wait, so question. Yes. Did you ever experience a ghost while living there? Uh, all sorts of stuff on the land. Are you serious? All positive. All yeah. All super positive. Heard stories from people who... I want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I ha I've met a few people over the years that had stayed in Deer Creek, talked specifically about um, feelings, sensations, presences, and... Um, and noticing persons in the main bedroom. Okay. So when you go in on the left oh. side of the house, uniquely that space. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people ha didn't want to sleep in there. That's kind of weird because that's the one bedroom we didn't go in because oh. that one was built in 1955. That's interesting. So that's really interesting. But for sure on the land, there was, you know, the I don't know, the folklore that I was um, told about the land is that that was a seasonal camp. Mm -hmm. right there with the stream so there's a really strong indigenous presence there for the seasonal oh. fishing um, especially for the lake trout so when we were on the land i mean it felt like a, it always felt really warm and inviting and lindsay uh, said there were more than one occasion where she felt like when she was standing by the lake that she felt a hand on her shoulder or on her back 
And it was always very comforting and very oh. um, positive and warm and inviting. And I, numerous times, we'd be on the beach and it felt like there, like we'd hear sounds of what seemed like other people walking on the beach with us. Wow. So it was, re- I mean, it was a very warm and special place. Um, very huge contrast to some places in Hovland. I have <laughs> lots of other stories about. Well, Hovland is where that house came from. That's right. Yeah. The house came from Hovland. Yep, both of those did. So I'm cold tonight. Ooh, so sorry if this, I'm shivering in the audio. <laughs> well, I feel like I feel like ghost stories and spirits are the perfect way to get ourselves set up to go into a haunted house. Which is what we're doing right now. And a little history on this. Yes. The old funeral home. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me that oh, before you got me here? <laughs> you didn't know that? No. I think it's called the Cavalier, the Cavalier, I don't, not Cavalier. Um, mm. But yeah, that was the old funeral home. The part we're walking into, we're going to be walking into in a minute, is the old where they used to have the services. Oh, <laughs> boy. You know, I thought to myself, I don't like haunted houses. I'm going to be scared to go with you, Jay. But I also thought, what could be more quintessential Halloween? Yes. And now you're just throwing this <laughs> legit funeral home stuff it's on top of it. It's a legitimate funeral home. All right, so really Let's, quick, yeah. say who you are. Uh, my name is Matthew Baxley. And you, I brought you on here today because Joe is not here. He claims he's in Chicago. Um, he's somewhere. I think he's just too afraid. Uh, so. That would be consistent with my impression. <laughs> Same reason why he skipped out on uh, the haunted, uh, not the haunted house, but the, well, the haunted area, I guess. The uh, Deer Creek ghost hunting. He was too afraid. He claimed he had to work, but well, I it was more, a Saturday. I know. <laughs> I am more than honored to step in for this amazing experience with you, Jay. And he suggested you because you are his co-host on the Boundary Waters podcast. Indeed. So, if you want to hear more of Joe and Matthew, when Matthew's not terrified, oh gosh, check out the Boundary Waters podcast. But now, it's time. Let's go. Scary stories. <laughs> now you're supposed to bring a canned good oh. in order to enter, and I have a whole bag that I was going to bring tomorrow because tomorrow it's family friendly. Oh. Tonight it's adults only. Oh um, no! So I forgot the bag, but I hope they forgive us so that we can go in. We'll see if they're feeling friendly. Hello! Hello! Hello, Sarah Stover. Hello, Jay White. Can I go through with them? Huh? Can I go through with them? Do <laughs> you want to go through with them? Well, we're recording the podcast. So. Oh, hello, hello. So, so Matthew Baxley, Sarah Hi. Stover. You, nice we, to meet you. We've met oh, before. Yes, we have. Nice okay, to see I was you again. Say, Indeed. I'd be shocked if you hadn't met yet. <laughs> I'm very cold today. It's freezing. So is this like a wave? Are we waiting for our turn to go? We're waiting for them to get in the place. Yes, waiting for them to get into their positions. So I have a whole bag of canned food we're bringing tomorrow with the kids, and I forgot today because I was at work until we came here. I brought. I promise. Just yeah. Well, I brought a little bit. Oh no, you brought. So not only is the cause to be scared, it's also for something charitable. Okay, here we go. We are walking in. What does it say? Enter if you dare. Enter if you dare. Whoa. If you dare. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That was my some time. dark. Yeah, I don't. Oh. Streamy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this is the way we're supposed to go? Yes, I'm sure. I'm All right. Okay. It's, oh. It looks like a dead end here. There's a large there's spider a large... on the wall. Okay. There's I'm a lot tangled of... in cobwebs. <laughs> I'm being pushed ahead by Sarah. Oh, don't lose me. Oh, hey, Matthew, you should turn around. I don't want to. I'm scared. Oh, oh God. <laughs> There's somebody following me. <laughs> okay, we're carrying on now. There's a... I have to hold my hand so I don't swing at anybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. That was the greatest noise ever. So there's a... Wow. Oh! oh. There's a werewolf. It's, a, it's gonna eat oh. you. I think it's gonna eat you, actually. There's a large box by me. I, I don't, don't, I don't trust think it, it opens because... <laughs> just love Matthew's walking with his hands full. Oh! Oh, I think he's dead. Um... 
Oh my god. You're still being followed. I, I can't, can't look behind part. myself. <laughs> oh, okay. We're inside now. Um. Ah! Oh. <laughs> What's funny is that's the person that got you a few Dr. minutes ago. <laughs> this this way? Very scary individual with a mask that is haunting me. It's haunting me. And dead things in boxes. Evil elixirs on the walls. Something sounds vibrating through the floor. Okay, this place is huge. I think there are really or dead just... people in here. It was well, this person old, uh, definitely looks dead. Sealed funeral home. That's definitely yeah. dead. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some dying people. Oh, uh, oh. A witch just almost grabbed me. <laughs> And there's a Frankenstein dead on the couch. Oh, there is like stuff grabbing at my face uh, right now. I think you've entered a real oh, there's a head there is a on a head table, on the table. And it's a real human head. It's definitely looking at me. And there's but I don't Do you have Jay, a message? Will you stand in front of me? Nope. The head does not talk. That's terrifying. Do you talk? Nope. That that one just points. Alright, here we go. All right, coming through. Oh, no. Oh, boy. There is a floating spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You take pleasure in my fear? I do, actually. This is fantastic. It is. Uh-oh. Okay, there are spirits behind the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. The werewolf's back. Step right there. We're going downstairs, and I almost oh, just fell down. That's a liability. <laughs> you should warn us, werewolf. Okay, more stomping. Okay, Don't we're going the down the stairs. The Don't look the werewolf in the eyes. Um, I think this is where we end. Oh, well, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm assuming we're supposed to go out okay, the door. Okay, there's all still the a head here at the end in a crystal ball. But it's it's watching me leave. <laughs> You know what would be great? <gasps> this is what they need to do. Have somebody <coughs> right here who jumps around the corner oh my when you leave. Really what they need to do is make this a tunnel. Oh, yeah. Okay. And have, like, more chainsaws and clowns. All right, Matthew, I have an feelings? App. I have an app on my phone, and I'm just going to check my heart rate. <laughs> do you have your Apple Watch? Or? I'm not that smart here. Oh. <laughs> Are you easily frightened? Uh, Apparently uh, not so. of the wilderness or of wolves or of high cliffs, but of haunted houses <laughs> cliffs and will demons do and spirits. Cliffs are terrifying. It's not even so much that they're terrifying. Okay. I just get really... You're deep. okay? I'm all right. Are you, are you, do we need to take to the emergency room? Nope, Is there I'm some all right. cardiac arrest happening? That was, that, that was good. Uh, legitimate. Yes. Haunted house. I'm very impressed. I think Grand awesome. Marais showed up today. Uh, yeah, and considering that Duluth doesn't have the haunted ship this year. No? No, because they just came back. <gasps> oh. So it was in dry dock getting repairs done. And it just came back last week or two ago. Oh, wow. And then the Nopaming Sanatorium used to have hauntings. They got shut down by the health department. Oh, spirits will do that. Uh, right? Mm hmm. Kind of bitter. Um, so, yeah, there is no haunted anything in Duluth, as far as I know, besides <sighs> the Dark Duluth ghost tours or bus tours. But. Grand Marie showed up. Grand Marie showed up. I don't know Did anything. Did you feel <laughs> the energy of the funeral home when you were walking through there? I'm not actually that sensitive to energies or anything, but you did, apparently. There was some creepiness. <laughs> you should come back here when it's not a funeral home. Or, you or mean, I mean, I'm sorry, when it's not house. a haunted house. I feel like that would be even scarier. <laughs> Just because you can't pass it off as the weird spirit sitting on the... What was it that was grabbed you? A witch? Yes. Yeah, couch. but the creepiest thing, that was a real head sitting on that table. What was a real head? Yeah, I thought it was going to bite the microphone. It, I'm surprised it didn't say anything. I Nobody did. I was really glad it didn't, actually. So this is the second episode in a row where I couldn't get a spirit to talk to me. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It depends on how you look at it. 
I was kind of hoping. I was trying not to look it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Matthew. My and thank pleasure. you, Sarah. For uh, thanks for having me unexpectedly. Spontaneous <laughs> guest appearance. <laughs> At the front door of the haunted house. And with that, we are going to sign off on this mini-sode of Exploring the North Shore. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Scary monsters. I don't know where the stop button is. <laughs> I don't know where the red button is. <laughs>